Hello and welcome to Helicopter Train Videos. In this video, we're going to look at instructor and student passenger currency changes and the rescinded letters of interpretations. So let's start with a question. Does an instructor or student have to be passenger current under 6157 for an instructional flight? Now, in the past, you'd probably say no, but things have changed. 6157 says to act PAC, pilot in command, with passengers on board. This is the daytime version, the short version. It basically says that you can't act as PAC carrying passengers unless you've made three takeoff and landings. In the past 90 days, you were the sole manipulator of the flight controls, and it was done in the same category and class and type if type was required. SFAR 73 says basically in an R22 or an R44 to act as PAC with passengers, you have to meet the currency requirements of 6157, but in an R22 or R44 as appropriate. So if you're flying an R44 with passengers, you have to be R44 passenger current and same for R22. So Mr. Quarter Cracks, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, sends a letter to the FAA asking for clarification of the phrase passenger in 6157 and SFAR 73. In 2006, they write a uh, letter of interpretation and the short version is, we agree that a properly rated instructor and a student are not passengers within the meaning of 6157 and SFAR 73. Then a Mr. Olshock also sends the FAA a letter asking if that applied to a non-rated student, someone who isn't uh, already a rated pilot. And also, what about a student riding in the back? So he's writing off the same earlier opinion. And the FAA's letter of interpretation in 2007 states... The quarter crack's opinion was based on the instructor-student relationship and was not limited by specific rating of the particular student. So it's basically saying it would apply even if the student wasn't already a rated um, student, uh, sorry, pilot. But anyone aboard the aircraft not actively receiving flight instruction, unless acting as a required flight crew member, would be a passenger. So the person in the back, even if you could say they're receiving some sort of instruction by watching and listening, that didn't count. They would be counted as a passenger. Then a Mr. Schaffner also sends the FAA a letter asking for some interpretation about instructor currency and medical requirements. The FAA's response in 2014 basically saying the instructor is not considered a passenger when he is present specifically to train the person receiving instruction. So all three of these letter of interpretations are essentially saying a student and instructor while engaging in instruction in the aircraft, the passenger currency day or night and SFR 73 did not apply. Then... In July of 2023, the FAA changed its mind and rescinded or cancelled those letters of interpretation. And they said, The legal interpretation was based on the unsupported conclusion that a flight instructor and a person receiving flight training are not considered passengers to one another. Therefore, the legal interpretation is no longer valid and may not be relied upon for any purposes. And you can see that was the same for all three of those of interpretations. They'd all been rescinded with similar verbiage at the start. But it wasn't until August of 2024 that the FAA publishes a, a Office of Chief Counsel memorandums on rescinded letter of interpretations. So each one of those now has a memorandum. So now when you search for uh, either those uh, letter of interpretations by name or something like 6157 instructor, now these come up replacing the original LOIs. So for over a year, it's kind of happened, but no one's really know, known about it. And now this is going to be a lot easier for pilots to uh, understand that currency has changed for instructors and students. So now instructors must make sure they're accurately logging their takeoff and landings while, while they are the sole manipulator of the flight controls. So instructors can log cross-country time, night time, and even instrument time if they're in actual uh, instrument meteorological conditions while instructing and not be on the flight controls. But for passenger currency for 6157, um, and it was confirmed by uh, Collins 2014 LOI, a letter of interpretation, instructors must be the sole manipulator of the flight controls to log those takeoff and landings for passenger currency. So let's walk through some scenarios and see if we, we've got a head around this. So um, you're going to do a night flight. It's at least one hour past sunset. You're in an R44. Are you legal in each of these situations? One, the CFI is night current in an airplane. Two, the CFI is night current in a bow 206. Three, the CFI is night current in an R22. Four, the student pilot who's not a rated pilot yet is current in an R44, night current. Five, 
A private pilot is knight current in an R44, but does not have an S-73 R44 PIC endorsement yet, or isn't current. 6. Either the student or the CFI is knight current in the R44 and has an S-73 R44 PIC endorsement and is current if necessary. Think about each one of those, would you be legal or not? And the answers are coming up. First of all, number one, no, you would not be legal because you must be passenger current in category and class. Two, no, because S-73 night currency must be in an R-44 if you're going to fly an R-44. Three, same thing. It doesn't count for an R-22, so S-73 night currency would have to be in the R-44. Four, no, a non raid pilot cannot act as PIC. Five, no, they must be S-73 R-44 PIC endorsed. And if you have less than 200 hours and less than 50 in the R-44, they would have to have done a flight review within a year as well. Six, yes, at least the instructor or the student is night current in the R-44 and has an S-73 R-44 PIC endorsement, or if it's the instructor, an S-73 R-44 instructor endorsement. So if you're watching this on YouTube, down in more information, you can find links to all these resources, 6157, SFAR73, an article on SFAR73, another article on SFAR73 and the 2024 changes, as well as all four of those letters of interpretation. Put any comments or questions down below, and thanks for watching. If you want more helicopter training videos, check out our helicopter ground school series or the helicopter flight maneuver series. Or perhaps you want to follow along with a student from day one all the way through to the check ride with our full flight lesson series. And if you haven't already, please click subscribe to get all the latest videos and help promote the channel. And finally, for more information on helicopter train videos, including articles, resources, quizzes, and more, and learn how to support this volunteer project, check out our website, helicoptertrainingvideos.com. Thanks for watching.